My name is Amy Ewing. I'm the UK Director at the Zacharias Trust and this is a series of devotions in the build-up to Easter. Love's Unveiling Whose are you? Matthew writes, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Have you ever experienced betrayal at the hands of someone you thought was your friend? As you read this passage, ask yourself the question, am I loyal to Christ? On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, the disciples came to Jesus and asked, where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the Passover? He replied, go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, my appointed time is near. I'm going to celebrate the Passover with my disciples at your house. So the disciples did as Jesus had directed them and prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve. And while they were eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me. They were very sad and began to say to him one after the other, Surely you don't mean me, Lord. Jesus replied, The one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me. The Son of Man will go, just as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. Then Judas, the one who would betray him, said, Surely you don't mean me, Rabbi. Jesus answered him, You have said so. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take and eat, this is my body. Then he took a cup and when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them saying, drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now on until the day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. When they'd sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Yesterday's betrayal does not take Jesus by surprise. As the passage draws to a climax with the Last Supper, Jesus warns that one of the twelve will betray him. To this implicit challenge, Judas responds with a barefaced lie. Surely not I, Rabbi, he asks. He's already sold his friend for money, and now he follows betrayal with deception. Jesus, in full view of this darkness picks up the bread, breaks it, and gives it to the disciples. The breaking of Jesus' body and pouring out of his blood, symbolised in this Last Supper, is going to happen in full view of his enemies. As Jesus pours out the wine, he announces the new covenant and the forgiveness of sins. And as if to remind us of how much we all need this forgiveness and how dark and broken the world is, Judas is right there with them all. Think of all the things that you've thought, said and done that have been disloyal to Christ. And remember that Jesus poured out his blood for the forgiveness of your sins. Receive that forgiveness and new life afresh today for yourself.